The Algebra Success Academy is a program aimed at late elementary students and middle school students, which provides enrichment um, level mathematics, which enables students to learn on the concrete level, which makes more sense to them, rather than traditionally how we teach them at the abstract level. They do get to learn at the abstract level, but they've had a really solid concrete foundation first. What the Algebra Success Academy does is provide um, a backdrop for the teaching of algebra, which is more relevant for students, so that they can make the real world connections, which is really what learning is all about. Pieces of the Algebra Success Program play into all of the different curriculum we use throughout the day. What we're learning about in language arts ties into what we're learning about in algebra success. They benefit across the board. Their writing becomes stronger, their collaborative skills become stronger, their communication skills are stronger, they look out for each other. Our students know what algebra is for. They know what it does, they know what it looks like in the real world. They get to take field trips, then come back and participate in active games, and then connect back into the core curriculum. The Algebra Success Academy teaches students to work together as teams, teaches them to believe in themselves and believe that they own an integral piece of any project that's done by completing their individual work first. They become really aware that their work matters and that they're a really key piece in getting something accomplished. I think the Algebra Success Academy is a wonderful program. The times that I've been able to be in the classroom with the students has been absolutely wonderful. They work collaboratively. They're excited about their education. We're going to write a trip line story that travels a total distance of 19. You have a negative displacement and you end close to your benchmark and it has a total of three landmarks. Is your benchmark one of your landmarks? Yes. Yes. Travels a total of 19, has a negative displacement, ends close to your benchmark, and uses a total of three landmarks. What does close mean? Uh, negative one, negative two. I mean two. One, two. One, two, negative one, negative two. Would zero work? Yes. yes. Well, no, that'd be an eight story. It would be an eight story, and it, what requirement would it not fulfill? The negative what? Displacement, right? Okay, so a Nate story would not work in this case. So you need to think of a more a different story. Ready? Go. Once you finish your story, please add an equation, a vector diagram, and a hop diagram. You have your story, everybody check very quickly. Make sure you fulfilled all the requirements. That you've traveled the total distance of 19, that you have a negative displacement, you're ending close to your benchmark, that you have a total of three landmarks, that you have an equation, you have a vector diagram, and you have a hop diagram. Start at the Colombo statue, go nine spaces to the right, and stop at the 31 stairs. Then go 10 spaces to the left and finish at the treasurer's office. Okay, so is her story correct? Did she fulfill all the requirements? Did she travel a total of 19? She went 9 to the right, 10 to the left. Is that 19? Yes. Does she have a negative displacement? Yes. Yeah. Yes. What does that mean? She ended where? Behind her benchmark. Behind or to the left of her benchmark. Did she end close to her benchmark? Yes. Yes. Did she travel a total of three landmarks? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 9 minus 10 equals negative 1. 9 minus 10 equals negative 1. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Who can write that in a different way? 9 plus negative 10 equals negative 1. Excellent. You guys all agree with that equation? Yes. 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 Vector 1 equals 9. Vector 2 equals what does your combined vector equal? Negative one. Negative one. Vectors always have two things. Which are they? Um, direction. Direction and displacement. Distance. Distance, distance. distance and direction. Excellent. Maria, please draw a hop diagram for Tiana's problem. Um, we go nine, four, and ten. That works. And you end on negative four. Okay, what do you need to label in that hop diagram? They have to have what? Nine. Yeah. 
and negative 10. Perfect. Everybody agree that that's a hot diagram? Yep. Yes. We have seen success in test scores. We've seen success in grades over time, but we've really seen growth in students believing in themselves, growth in students willing to work together to help everybody succeed as a team. We've seen growth in families believing that their students can do anything that they want to do. And we've just seen a program that really is encompassing all of our community and making it a culture of success rather than just a culture of status quo. We've seen a difference with my son. Uh, he has special needs. And prior to the program, he didn't really engage in class. He was kind of quiet. He was asked a question, really didn't want to answer, didn't think that he knew the answer. But then after he got into the program, he found a new confidence. He started engaging in conversations, started uh, raising his hand, asking questions, and really got involved in uh, some of the classroom activities. Both of my kids both started the Algebra Project in fifth and sixth grade. They were never struggling students, kind of helped them to exceed and go a little further as far as their math is concerned. My daughter started seventh grade this year and now she has straight A's. I think it had a lot to do with Algebra Project. One father who talked about um, how he was afraid of mathematics and how he was so excited that his young man who was in a special ed class was going to know more about math and how excited he was that perhaps his child would be able to go to college where he hadn't had that opportunity. So just making those connections for students through powerful teaching, powerful learning, powerful partnerships between teachers, parents, students, and then the administrators connecting the dots, I think that's what the Algebra Success Academy has done and I look forward to seeing it continue to grow. One of the benefits of the program, I think, too, it's great to see the growth in students, but it's also great to see the growth in teachers working together in authentic instruction that really provides a chance for teachers to be teachers again. When teachers are really engaged, they feel like they are honored as professionals, then they will hold themselves and their students as accountable as anyone else. Exciting to see this project grow, to see the students that are matriculating through our system into high schools and now being successful in high school because they had that early entry into algebra. We also know that if students don't pass algebra then they are more likely not to either complete high school or go on to college. And so um, this project is providing for our students to have that foundation that they need to be successful beyond high school.